Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another look of the day. Today's look um, hasn't been named yet because it involves the newest makeup I got from my friend Manic Girl. You can check her out at Etsy.com. And these came from Japan. So this is just a L'Oreal Color Riche pencil, which happens to complement these pink shades wonderfully. I'm going to change the. I'm, <coughs> I'm going to name this actually Dainty Pinks. And the reason for that is not because they're particularly dainty for any reason. It's just because um, in my alphabetized makeup collection, I don't have anything beginning with a D. It goes straight from C to F. Oh, wait, I do have a few D's in the other set. Oh, well. Anyway, so for now, dainty pinks. Um, of course, I got this from my collection of orphans, uh, which I will soon be parting with, as uh, they are actually part of a consolation prize, to a subscriber who, although she commented during my giveaway, she was late in subscribing. So, um, however, I will be giving uh, a few of my orphans away to her. Um, I liberated this from the orphan set, which is just as well, because I've used this a bunch of times anyway. It's got my lip cooties all over it. So, to begin with, we have um, this pink blush. This is from um, Elifa. And uh, this color is uh, multi cheek in pink. Okay, these are a little tough to open. So here it is, it's very pink. This is the first time I've attempted to use my flat bronzer brush with it. I have tried the itty bitty little brush, and um, it's a it's it's a synthetic brush, but it's kind of like the Barbie hair brush where it's not tapered at the end. So um, it's kind of like a very rough mini kabuki, which actually suits this pink, which is so intense. So this little guy will actually deposit the color and also uh, scrub away excess. Now let's see what it's like when we apply an actual makeup brush. It's, it's very pink. It's quite light and feminine on camera. As you know, this camera washes out color. So in all likelihood, I probably look like I'm coming in from the atmosphere. <sighs> anyway. There we go. The cheeks are on. I only have clear lips, lip gloss on today, and it's the same lip gloss I used in yesterday's look. Oh, I need a mirror. Mirror. There it is. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. My, my cheeks are way too pink. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take these down a notch. Oh, that's funny. believe how pink this stuff is.
Although this may be the first time in my experience where the crappy little brush that came with the color is actually better than a professional makeup brush. Now, since I have not found a lipstick or gloss that accompanies this pencil yet, I'm just going to fill in with the, with the pencil. wasn't intentional either. I didn't know that there was a sharpener in here. Woohoo! I'm gonna use it. Yay! Hey, come on. Uh, other way. Doesn't work. Here we go. We. Oh, come on. What good is a sharpener if it just breaks off the end? Stupid sharpener. Okay. Well, now that I've wasted time, we gotta rush the eye makeup. I guess I'll just do one eye. So here's how we're gonna do it. This is the Cosmo Beauty Quad. This is also in pink. So, as I usually go with my quads, I start at the top. I start at the top with the highlight which is a satiny, very white shade. That's this eye, right? This eye, okay. And I'm just using the applicator that came with it. And that's going to go all the way from the bridge of the nose under the eyebrow. I've already done my eyebrows. I've actually overdone my eyebrows, but since I've overdone the blush too, might as well. So the highlight is on. Moving right down to the second shade, it's going to go. Basically, I'm applying the eyeshadow as it appears in the palette. And with all the lightest shades, I'm being very generous. This pink is practically invisible, even on my, even in real life. Third shade down here. This applicator is so tiny, I've got eyeshadow all over my fingers just from handling it. This is going to go from the crease to the lid and covering the entire lid. These shades are so pastel, I'm actually going to use this third darkest color as my tear duct highlight. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to go straight across the whole bottom eyelid. It's not a highly pigmented look, it's just very brightening. It's actually much like there is a, um, there's an elf quad called Pretty in Pink, which is pretty close to this as far as these top three colors are concerned, although this goes to a very warm bump.